Hello, I am Naveen Komaraju, a Systems and Applications Manager for the Precision D2A Converter Group here at Texas Instruments. Today, I am going to talk to you about designing analog outputs for industrial control applications using 4 to 20 milliamp DACs. We will begin by looking at an industrial plant from a very high level. We will start with the two images here. The image on the left shows an oil refinery. Material makes its way through the refinery through a number of control loops, but the material is flowing continuously. This is known as continuous process control. On the right, you have a bottling plant or a pharmaceutical plant where material is flowing in discrete units. This is known as discrete process control. Both of these plants, if you were to look at them at a hierarchy, hierarchical level, you would see something like this. Basically, you would have three levels. At the very top, you have a network of PCs which are running enterprise software and making decisions such as asset management or supply chain decisions. Those decisions are fed to the level below, the control layer. Their equipment such as programmable logic controllers known as PLC or distributed control systems also known as DCS uh, interface to the actual equipment on the factory floor which are machines, pressure sensors, temperature sensors, valves and so on. For example, a programmable logic controller at the control level could turn on a valve at the field level which would allow fluid to flow in that oil refinery we talked about. A uh, pressure sensor could then measure the pressure or a level sensor could measure the level and feed that information back to a programmable logic controller and, control, and close this control loop. So, let us take a look at this uh, interface between the programmable logic controller and that pressure sensor. So, shown here uh, are two uh, pieces of equipment. On the right, we have a programmable logic controller and on the left, we have a field sensor or a pressure sensor. Uh, the interface between the two is usually current or voltage. For over, 40, uh, for, for over 80 years, the 4 to 20 milliamp standard has been used and is very popular. Now, if you notice the equipment on the right, it is very modular. There are a number of modules. One such module is an analog output module. So, here I have an analog output module. It usually sits in a cabinet. Behind the cabinet is a DIN rail on which it is mechanically mounted. There is a back plane which provides power and interface to it to communicate with it. In the front of the module is our screw terminals with which wires are connected to the different end equipment such as machines, motors, valves, pressure sensors and so on. If you were to open up one of these modules, you would see that there is a significant amount of electronic content on this module. So, let us take a look at a block diagram for this module. What you have here is a block diagram for a PLC analog output module. The back plane on the left uh, interfaces to the field instruments on the right uh, through this PLC analog module, output module. So, you have an interface component going through a digital controller through a layer of isolation which then talks to the digital to analog converter. The predominant component on this module is the D2A converter which sets the performance of this module. The D2A converter typically interfaces with the amplifier on uh, shown there both in red and together they interface to the field equipment with either a current output or a voltage output at a level which can interface with the field equipment. Texas Instruments is releasing a new family, the DAC 8760 family which is the focus of this presentation. It integrates the digital to analog converter along with the amplifier. So, we looked at the pre PLC controller. Let us take a look at the field transmitter. Shown here is a block diagram of that field transmitter. Again, there is a sense element on the left which is condition converted to an electrical signal and then eventually becomes uh, the current loop you see in this block diagram. Again, the 8760 family is a good fit for these applications as long as there is a local power supply or power is provided through the interface uh, via a three wire connection. Now, let us take a look at an interesting application for this family. Uh, a problem that system installers face is that the wiring costs and the cost of components and terminals is very expensive. So, uh, the 8760 family has a nice feature which allows them to save cost. Basically, what you can see here is an application diagram. You can see that the voltage and the current pins of the device can be connected together and then connected to the terminal 
uh, so that you can use one terminal and share the voltage and current output. Typically, you have three terminals, voltage, current, and the return path. With this device, you just need one terminal, which is voltage or current, which can be programmed by software, and then you just have the return terminal. So reducing three terminals to two saves a lot of cost for system installers. Shown here is the DAC 8760 family of 4 to 20 milliamp DACs has both a voltage and a current output. They have the best in class accuracy, the highest level of integration and a number of diagnostic features. The parts shown on the top right corner uh, belong to the family. There are four different parts and in two different packages and they are all rated for an extended temperature range. The DAC 8760 is a complete solution for PLC analog outputs, 3-wire and 4-wire sensors, or for any end equipment implementing 4 to 20 milliamp communication. For more information, refer to the link shown here.